everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i wanted to talk to you guys about a new upcoming life simulation game that i'm really excited about and i think you guys might want to know about it as well i know this isn't something i usually do on this channel but i think this is something that you guys might really be interested in because i am and i think it looks so awesome so there's this new indie game coming out it's going to be available on pc and mac and it's called Paralives. And this game looks so good. This could maybe be as good as, or even better than The Sims. So it's said that Paralives is an indie open world life simulation game. You can build your dream house, create some characters, and manage their lives any way you want. So the game is still in early development, but there's already a website up, as well as a Patreon account, and a few official Twitter accounts giving us little pieces of information. So I thought I'd share with you guys some of the features this game has. So this game will have gridless building. So in The Sims 4, when you're building, you're kind of stuck to building on a grid, which can really suck at times because you can't put furniture close together or where it looks most natural. And it's something that really does get in the way of the whole building process. So being able to build without a grid in this game should be so much fun and it will make building realistic homes a lot easier. Another feature they have said will be in this game is transportation. So in this game we'll have cars, bikes and boats. Did you hear that guys? We're gonna have bikes and boats. This is super exciting because in The Sims 4 we don't even have cars yet. Which is super disappointing by the way because in The Sims 2 and 3 we had cars. So I really have no idea why our Sims can't have bikes or cars yet in The Sims 4. But Paralives is going to have all of that and boats too. This is crazy, I can't wait to see more information on this. Another amazing thing about Paralives is that it's going to be open world. Again, something The Sims 4 couldn't do, but they did do this in The Sims 3 and it was really awesome. So I can't wait to see how this will be in Paralives. I know in The Sims 3 the game did load really badly because of this and you had quite a lot of loading times even with the open world, so I wonder how this will be in Paralives. There's also going to be seasons, which is my favourite thing to have in a live sim. I'm so excited to see more seasons and what they'll look like in this game. And it's really awesome to include seasons in the base game, which is something The Sims has never done. Another feature we're going to have is animals. There's going to be cats, dogs, and horses. I mean, I'm so excited for this. It's not often life simulation games include pets in the base game. So I can't wait to see what the pets look like and how you can interact with them. And I want to get a horse, like, what the heck? We had horses in The Sims 3, but again, not in The Sims 4. I want to have horses! We're also going to have completely customizable building and furniture. So in The Sims 3 we had this thing called Creator Style and it was where you could take any piece of furniture and change the texture and pattern and colour of any piece of it. You could change the wood to metal and the flower print pillows to, I don't know, leopard print? Any pattern you wanted basically. They got rid of this in The Sims 4, which sucks because quite often you end up finding a really nice bed frame and then realise there's no quilt covers you like. But it looks like Paralives is literally taking everything The Sims community loved in previous games and bringing it back in their own new game. Also, isn't the art style in this game just beautiful? I can't wait to see more of it, I honestly love this art style so much. It's so simple and clean and cute and I think it's because of this art style that they are able to add so much into this game. It reminds me of a painting or of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let me know what you guys think of this art style. Uh, one thing I am concerned about with Paralives though is the character customization. It does say on the Patreon page that you can create characters, but they haven't really explained anything to do with that, so I'm not sure how big of a deal character customization will be in this game. And that's something The Sims excels in and always has, and The Sims 4 especially has probably the greatest and easiest way to make characters look however you want, and that's what I think anyway. So this is something I'm not sure Paralives will be able to compete with, and character customization is one of my favourite things about most live sims, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that's going to be like in this game. But of course the game is still in development and they're still going to be working on it for a while, so they could add so much more and still have tons more to show us. So as I mentioned earlier, this game has a Patreon page where you can donate and help out the developer, Alex. Alex is a software engineer based in France, and they worked on projects like PewDiePie's Tuba Simulator game and Unity's Project Tiny, so yeah, if you'd like to see more of this game and support the creator, you can donate to their Patreon, so I'll leave a link to that below because I'd love to see more of this game and I think it's coming along really well, and I'm really looking forward to finding out more about it. 
So let me know what you guys think of Paralives. Do you think it looks good? Is this the type of game you'd play? Honestly, for me, I think it looks awesome. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, that's all for now. If you liked this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Only if you want to though. And thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!